everyone. I thought I would come on quickly today just to show you some things that have come in the mail or that I picked up this week uh, for, I think they're for, all for Dayton. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I just thought I'd get started. So the first thing I bought is this. I forget where I bought it. Probably eBay. <laughs> uh, but it's just a silicone pacifier. And... You can see it's from China or somewhere. But um, one thing that bothered me was I didn't order it from China, but it came flat in this thing, and I was worried because it gets so hot here, and it's silicone, and I'm like, oh, is it gonna um, like smush this pacifier? So we'll see. Because when I opened it, so here it is in packaging and it's almost like a vacuum sealed so let's open it and hopefully it pops back into shape but I am a little nervous to be honest yeah see look at that I think the handle here is meant to go down just the way it's done at the sides and this seems to be coming back into shape so so there is the pacifier and then this week after work I went into town quickly with my husband and when we stopped at Burlington and I just got a couple little things um, I bought some pacifiers, like older pacifiers that I found for a good price. So I didn't have these, uh, you know, I was, I never really bought these ones. So I thought, oh, why not? And then I found, again, some older pacifiers that I thought were cute. So I picked these up and whoop, you can see I've already modified these ones and I picked up these ones as well and haven't modified those yet so I've got those I picked out another toy uh, for Dayton it's in his toy box right now <laughs> I forgot to grab it but it's just a rocket um, one of those easy grab rockets so but then I found a few pieces of clothing not a lot because I didn't want to spend a lot of money uh, on and they didn't have a great selection but these couple things I thought were cute. So these are size, this is size six to nine months, but it looked big enough when I was looking at it. And it's funny, the tag says 18 months, but it's obviously not. You gotta watch that, I guess. You can see right here, it says 18. Um, but it still looks big enough. It may not be wide enough right here. But I thought it would be super cute under um, overalls or something with the snaps at the side. Uh, so I just liked it. But it's really nice stuff, like a heathery light blue. And then it's got a bunch of submarines on it and, you know, little fish. But it's neatly on it. It's not like all over. It's just in nice little patterned lines kind of thing. So I picked that up. And it was $3, so... I mean, I couldn't go wrong. Hopefully it fits him. Then I grabbed this Carter's t-shirt. I kind of remember seeing it, but I don't, I don't know. Um, I think I paid $5 for it. It's size 12 months. It is uh, kind of a navy-ish blue. And then it's got this big dinosaur coming from the shoulder down with his mouth open. And so the sleeve is gr is green like he is and has the um, I don't know, scales. And then the last piece of clothing I bought at ooh, uh, um, Burlington is just this little polo romper. And it's the colors I like for. Dayton it's 24 months and I, I bought it because I was looking at the sizes and it doesn't look that big 
and the 12 months one would look really small. So I got this one and it's white, but it does have, so it's white, it's a one piece romper. It is just like, is that a crew neck, I think? And then it has three buttons up, but it's got a, one navy blue stripe at the top. And then it has a thicker gray stripe where the little um, polo embroidery is on the chest. And then the rest is just a nice light blue stripe. And these are the colors that I really like on him. So I thought, why not? And that was like $5, so. And then the rest are pieces from the mail. So this first set here, I got, these are next. So this is a three piece set. And I bought these in size six to 12 months. Uh, Cause I, I have a feeling that would fit him better at the top, especially around the shoulder area. So this was a three pack. This first one is white and it has a blue dinosaur, almost like a stamp um, printing on it, like silk screening kind of thing. I don't know. And then it has like little red spines on it. This shirt, the second shirt is the reason I bought this. Um, it is white, but it's got all kinds of bright colored dinosaurs on it. Uh, so it's got reds, blues, like just everything. It's just very vibrant and cute. So I got that one. And then this one is just white with blue stripe. Very plain and simple. Um, but I did buy it, again, for this shirt to go under this kind of short alls from Next. So these are 12 to 18 months. Um, and they're just, they're not a denim they're actually like they've actually got a soft jersey cotton lining very thin <coughs> and then this um, almost like a linen cotton on the outside and some little I think these are actually wood buttons when I feel them but maybe not maybe they are full and on the back it just goes to the waist so the overalls kind of have this crisscross in the straps at the back. And it will go, like I said, over that shirt, which I think is super cute. But all three shirts will work for that, or other things too. Okay, so I got the, this all up next. And I'm just trying to kind of put this back in an organized pile here, because I just like it that way. <laughs> And then this next item, I got it next as well. This is for the fall, because right now I'm like, okay, he's got a lot of summer stuff. And in the fall, you know, I want to make sure that he's got some things for the fall. I have to cut that thread. So... So this next outfit is from Next. It is size uh, 12 to 18 months. And the, um, sorry, I was just reading this tag about the dye. I was more worried about what dye, but they just talked about it baiting to give it a, a look over time. But I bought this outfit. It's more for fall, winter. And I bought, he's got a lot of summer stuff, probably enough to get him through summer, to be honest. Because I, I don't change him quite as regularly as I used to change babies. So I want to get some fall pieces as well, um, you know, just so that he has something when fall comes around. So I got this. It's an overall set in an olive green color. So it does, it. the bottoms are cuffed. And then it's got these cute little pockets. Now they're full pockets, uh, but on the lower hips. And then, you know, it's got the little double buttons or, you know, double buttons at the side, like overalls do. But it also has like a little button here in the middle. And then the pocket is embroidered to say smile with an exclamation mark. And the pocket is the, like the front and the, center of the bib area of the overalls 
And then it's just got a nice white, wonderfully soft uh, cream and kind of black striped onesie. And I thought it, I don't know, I just liked it for the fall. So I picked that up for him. And let's see what else is coming in the mail. So the next few things are mail. Well, so is the next, but um, these are in the wrong order here. I'll just split this. We'll do this. So I got some things from Janie and Jack, just a couple things here. So this first one is just a white bucket hat. I've been looking for one. I got one at Walmart. It was um, all you know, one size. Didn't fit. It's way too big. So I bought this in six to eight or six to twelve because they were out of the twelve to eighteen. And I have a couple hats that are six to twelve that fit him well. So I'm hoping this one fits him. It seems maybe a little small and snug, but we'll see. Then I also bought this overall set, or short alls or whatever, from Jane and Jack. So it is just a light blue plaid with um, some green and white in it, or green and white and yellow. <laughs> it's just, you know, their basic romper or short alls or whatever. I just like it, so it was a good price. I thought I'll get it for him and then this last one is an eBay special uh, you know it's probably an outfit from China well I'm sure it is but it's sold out of the US kind of thing you know where if you get it from China it's five dollars but someone in the States buys it and then resells it for eight on eBay that kind of thing so it is this um, full pants or full legged romper. So it's got a cuff at the bottom and it's sleeveless and it's white. And then it's just got these big prints of like a brontosaurus and gray. And I want to say that's a stegosaurus, but I don't know. In green and a triceratops in brown. So... I thought it would be cute for just like, you know, a, a day around the house or even in town, I guess. It's it's not a bad look for him. And I like, again, the lighter colors, the whites and things on Dayton. So I thought this one was perfect for him um, because it is a lot more white than some of the other ones that I was looking at for him. So those are all the little pieces that I have picked up or have come in the mail through the week and let me just check yep <laughs> so that's it so hey everyone I just wanted to do a quick actually changing video for Dayton but thought I would just show you a couple things that I bought I don't even know remember when but but I've got these pacifiers here for Emmy so they're just cute little ulubulus. This one says wildflower and this one has a cute little bunny. And please don't mind my lighting. It's um, not the greatest right now. I also got Dayton this cute little, I don't know, short romper. So it's kind of like an overall, you know, in a casual knit, like jersey knit type of overall short things, I don't know, <laughs> and um, does up crosses in the back. It's got just like this pretty light, very, very light blue and white striped onesie underneath that short sleeve. So it's by Cat and Jack, it's 18 months because I've been finding some of them were not um, wide enough for him. And I did get it on clearance. So I also picked up a new Cat and Jack outfit for Emmy, but I already packed it away for her. Uh, so that the doll show, I would have her in it coming when I come home. So, unfortunately, that's already away. But it's like these really pretty, uh, loose, gray, kind of overall-y type pants with a really muted pink 
shirt underneath. It's hard to explain, but it's really pretty. So, And then I got in the mail this onesie from Gap. I had to get it when I saw it. Um, and I thought Dayton would be cute in it. So this is actually what I'm going to be putting him into. And if it works out, I'm probably going to put him into it in the, at the doll show at some point. But it's this cute, it's Robert, I think it's Robert Scarry is how you say his last name. Um, the author of the, the children's books. And it's, you know, the apple and the worm in the car. Or at least that's what it reminds me of. I don't know if it is official Robert Scarry stuff. Because usually the worm dude has like a little hat on. But I had to get it. So it's white. It's got the big apple car. And it's an, um, like, it's an applique, I guess. Because it's, it's an actually a different piece of material sewn on. That's the um, apple. And then the wheels are sewn on too. And the leaf is like embroidered. And then these are just like, not silk screened, but you know what I mean. And then there's the worm. And then the shoulders are just nice, um, foresty green and a little bit of blue at the collar like a turquoisey blue so not turquoise but I don't know the name of that blue <laughs> so I thought it would be super cute with these shorts for Dayton and it depends on how um, tight everything is on him because he, we know my Dayton is a little tubster compared to the other Liam's so <laughs> I will see what this looks like Hey, Brian, just a few more things I picked up for Dayton. I was, it was this weekend. I've kind of been combining a bunch of different purchases. I mean, I'm going to end up putting them into one video. So this one, though, was over the weekend, just recently uh, prior to Canada Day or Independence Day, whatever you want to call it, or whatever you want to call them, whatever holiday you relate to. And just thought I would share it with you so actually that's this Mickey Mouse hat I bought at H&M um, I'm actually gonna pair it with another outfit I've got here in the pile but I just thought it was really cute it is size 9 to 12 months which seems to fit him better than 12 to 18 so I've been buying him like 6 to 12 months or 9 to 12 months hats so I just thought it would be cute something different I don't have like a ball cap for him so. and then let's see let's move some of this stuff so you can have a better angle for viewing so I went to Carter's because I was picking up two sleepers for him that I ordered um, online and had it sent to the store and while I was there they had a sale uh, I forget what it was for can't even remember so much off clearance so I'm like okay I'm gonna go and check out their clearance well they really didn't have anything but I found these cute t-shirts that were new and I think they were 40 or 50 percent off I don't remember <laughs> so this it's such a nice soft material but both my husband and I liked this color uh, but it has this little bear in just like a, a charcoal gray kind of uh, screen like silk silk screen kind of thing but it has this little and he's looking through binoculars here and they're in brown and the binoculars are sewn on at the top so they flip up with velcro and you see the bear's face how cute is that i thought i liked that uh, so we got this for him and then my husband and i both liked this this monster better so we got both of them because we like the color of the one shirt and then like the monster on the other shirt. So this is a mustard yellow one. It's got like the monster in this, the, the charcoal gray kind of silk screen again. And he's got this big like half orange type mouth. It's, it's mustard yellow. I'm just saying the shape, half uh, circular mouth here. And when you open the Velcro and lift it up, it's got french fries, pizza, and a taco and yum inside. So got him those two t-shirts. Um, this is just kind of a jumbled mess right now. And then, let's see, I bought these for him. They seem really super long. 
and they probably will be, but these are a size, I can't even see them. These are a size nine to 12 months by H&M. They're just a white plain onesie and they are short sleeve, but I got them because they have more of a t-shirt vibe than an actual like white onesie type style where they fold at the shoulders. This one snaps at the shoulders here. So it really looks like a t-shirt. And I thought this would be great for under overalls or, you know, something where I want like just that white t-shirt simple look without having the, like the undershirt vibe of a white onesie. So this is a pack of two that I came with. And then at Carter's, our Carter's here is um, Oshkosh as well. So they had this Oshkosh overalls and it was, I thought it was on clearance. Well, it is on clearance. Um, it doesn't say so on the tag, but it was. <laughs> and I thought it was like on clearance for, I want to say like 15 or $17 and it was supposed to be 40% off. I think it was their clearance. Um, and so I thought, oh, I like it. It's kind of nice that I'll grab it. And it rang up and I checked and I'm like, why is this so cheap? And it rang up as $5 in some sense. And I really wish they would have had more 18 to 24 months because there were some different ones. In fact, there was a green one I really loved, but um, they just didn't have it on the right size, unfortunately. So all I got was just these red, they're not even like a strong red that I worry about the dye. It's almost, it's got a little, a little bit of a corally color to it and it's cotton. It's not like a jean overall in red. Um, so I picked these up for him and they're just Oshkosh overall shorts. And at H&M, I found this onesie. This is size 12 to 18 months and it is a striped dark blue, light blue, and white onesie, but it's got kind of like the polo collar with the buttons up, that buttons up, <laughs> and a little pocket. And I thought, one, it's cute on its own, but I also thought it would be like a good outfit together with this red overall set. So I picked that up and that's why, where's that hat I was showing you? And that's, I thought, you know, it just might be a cute outfit if I kind of pair the hat, the Mickey Mouse hat, the um, striped onesie and the red overalls together. And then when we were out at Stephanie and Jackie's, we made a, an impromptu surprise kind of visit, not really a surprise, they knew, but um, we had to run out there because time is running out before the doll show. So um, we were gonna grab some stuff to help take down to the doll show for them and I picked up these shoes Stephanie found them for me she spotted them one day when she was out shopping so I was like oh yes I totally want those and sent her the money and she grabbed them for me so these are Tom's size four and they're just like um I don't know how you describe that it's like a black and white tweed almost kind of pattern material you know where it's we woven together and then it has little Velcros on the side just to help you get the foot in there, which is really super nice uh, when you've got reborn kits that have the larger, fatter feet. But she grabbed those for me, so that was really nice of her. So those are some newer things that I picked up. Um, also, I picked up the gifts for the baby shower for the Rose Doll Show, so I'm super excited. Both my husband and I are gonna go to that. So I got that done, and I loved one of the items I bought for the gifts, so I ended up buying one for myself too, because I've always wanted one, um, which is really bad. I can't believe I did that, but I did it, and that's life. So I went on to do a changing video, but this got way too long. So I think I'm just going to end it here and say thank you so much for watching.